The following video will demonstrate how to create reports within VantagePoint using data coming from Production Center. The Production Center connector is a new feature in version 5 of VantagePoint. In the previous two videos, we looked at creating a connector and then creating a query called Production Lines and Work Centers that are mapped to information coming from Production Center. And we want to leverage these in, in a solution. So let's switch over to our portal for a second and take a look at what we currently have. And we're going to create a brand new report. So currently I have um, a folder which has a collection of reports and a collection of the work centers that come from Production Center. We've created a simple report called Production Center Work Center Detail, which simply gets all the item properties of a selected work cell. So in this case, I can select one of the work cells, hit Generate Report, and it generates an Excel report based on that work cell. The list of work centers will grow as Production Center adds more work centers into their list. As we synchronize a connector, this list will grow accordingly because this report is a templatized report or a type-based report, which then uses the type of a Production Center connector or a work center. Let's come back to our folder here. What we'd like to do for this example is create a brand new report using the query item that we'd created in the last video. So let's jump over to Excel. And what we want to do is open up and create a very simple report using the query from Production Center. Now, I like to start, I don't like to start from scratch, I like to start from something, a, a template. And I've already created this Production Center report template that really just gives me headers and some formats. So I've reached into the Production Center or into the Vantage Point model and pulled that Excel file out as a starting point place. I'm going to give this and this uh, report here a name. I'll call it uh, production line list because we know that the actual query itself is a list of production lines. And now I need to go get the information. So again, all I really need to know how is to is how to drive Excel. I don't need to know how to connect to Production Center at this point. So using my vantage point ribbon here, I'm going to say insert because I'm going to insert a new function. And it's going to be a database query and I'm going to query, I'm going to use a query that's in the model, or I could type it embedded in one of the functions here, but let's use something that already exists and say next. At this point I can go pick where's the query I want. Well actually it's right here, so under my Production Center connector I'm going to come to my queries and it's called Production Lines and say next. So this provides me my list of Production Lines coming out of uh, Production Center and say next. This is the query. I can edit here if it had parameters. I could define them at this point as well. I can test the query to make sure it's bringing back the data that I want or that I expect. So I run it. Looks fine. I'll say close and next. The next step is if I want to change any formatting or define my formatting range so the formatting looks consistent as my data grows, I'll leave it blank for now and say finish. So at this point, it's embedded the function and brought back the data. Now it brings it back into the format that Excel can use. I'm going to just clean this up a little bit and say, you know, I really want uh, the headings to be bold and centered. And these are actual dates, so I'd like them to show up as dates. So I'm going to come here and say those are long dates. Now I can come back into the function itself in vantage point in the Excel add-in and just set my parameters so that this is the way it looks all the time. So if I come back and say edit and work my way through the, the same um, wizard here, I can change my formatting range such that I say I want to keep this format as this grows, this is the format I want it to, to look like. So I'll say OK and say finish. And then maybe one last thing I'll do is just turn off uh, kind of grid lines. So that's my report. So at this point, I can publish this to Vantage Point. So I'm going to go to my Vantage Point connector or my, my tab here and say publish. And it's a report. There's no parameters here. So I'll say a report with no parameters. Next. Where do I want to put it? Now I've used a folder under Solutions Production Center Reports. So I'm going to put it here. I'm going to call this Production Line List. And that's the name we'll call it, and I'll say next and finish. So at this point, this Excel file is published into the Vantage Point model. I can delete it. I don't need to save it. It's already saved there. If I did need to edit it, I could simply come back to open, go find my production line list, and pull it back out. So it, it's saved in the Vantage Point model. But I can now take a look at what that looks like on the portal.
So let's open this back up, and I'm going to use the refresh button so we can see that this is the location it should show up at. I'll say refresh, and it'll go back to the model, refresh this model, and I should be able to see my new report, which is my production line list, which is leveraging a query from Production Center. So here's my new report, production line list. I can select that, and it'll then generate that Excel file in the background, providing it to me on the client as just an HTML page. So here I've demonstrated how to use or leverage information from Production Center without really having to know um, how to write the query itself. Someone can write those, and then I can start to leverage them as a production user or as someone creating reports. Thank you very much.